So, D, it's words on words time. Yeah. And uh, I really hope you blow up. I, I <laughs> <laughs> He's taking this pink pajama thing really far. I, I don't I don't know. So anyway, I, as you can see, the uh, charger is in tonight. So I'll just turn this so I can't see it. You guys can see the screen. and I can't. Oh, maybe I can almost re- see it on the monitor. But All right. So All right. go ahead and explain what Words on Words is. Words on Words. Uh, this is the 60-second spotlight where I tell you about a book I've read. I'm going to give it one to five stars, and I'm going to do it in 60 seconds or less. If I do, I get fireworks. If I don't... Loki is going to much happily to this this week blow me up. This is true. You watch him. He's as I get closer and closer, he's going to go nuts. I am. <laughs> and if he blows <laughs> me up, I'm never going to hear the end of it. All right, are you ready? <clears throat> yes, sir. Three, two, one. This week's worth of words, 60 Second Spotlight, is on Watcher and Wood by Kelly Armstrong. Now, this book has a lot of good things from the plot to the characterizations to the, uh, the presentation. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great book, and I've already blown it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it starts out when Casey's talking to his strange sister uh, about take, taking this mission to go to a remote town of Rockton down in the uh, deep of the uh, Yukon. And uh, um, it is a mysterious place. I, I, most uh, writers would have uh, given us a whole bunch of information dumps, but the author here, she kind of drips it out and drips and drabs and uh, about halfway through the book I kind of figured out where they were now I really like Casey as a I really like <laughs> I really like Casey as a, a heroine she's really good the author didn't load her down with addictions or mental or phys- physical disabilities that was really refreshing the rest of the characters were really well drawn out good personalities and everything um, the mystery here though is not the Rockton town I talked about the mystery is a murder that Casey's trying to solve we get a lot of clues um, there's uh, suspects in, and in there and they keep changes so that makes it interesting so watch her in the woods Kelly Armstrong five stars and this has been the words of words spotlight where we preview a book for you and we do it in 60 seconds or less <laughs> No, you lost by like probably a good five to seven. Oh, seconds. I just I, I blew it and I went back to cover some of the stuff. So I'm gonna say this is next hey! book. When I, when I when I say the plot, the characterization, the presentation is all good. This is all top notch stuff. Um I I, I was uh, almost all the way through when I found out that oh this is number four in a series. And I was reading it. It seemed like a standalone where they weren't releasing the the st- backstory on Rockton. So apparently, there's three books they already talked about it. But she was, <laughs> but she was really good because a lot of times when people go back to a story, they give you that big information dump about the town, blah blah blah. This it would just came whatever whatever Casey was thinking about, it would come out, you know, in a conversation or she's trying to explain something. We get a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. So I thought it was pretty interesting. So rather than when an author is in a three or four books in then what they usually do a boom we'll get a whole page full of information about what happened beforehand and she didn't do that so a uh, great story uh, i really recommend it i'm probably going to go back and read the uh, books one through three i really enjoyed it watcher in the wood kelly armstrong you saw the picture over there do we have a link uh oh yeah of course i'll have a link below so there's a link below so you can go and you can order that because it's not out yet pre-order you can pre-order it it not comes order out it comes out pre-order it and you don't have to wait long comes out in about a week or less uh, february 5th all right so yeah well yeah that would be less than a week uh, aren't we out of the 30th or 31st <laughs> don't mess with me pink boy Thir- 31st right okay <laughs> so <laughs> let's do the math oh i'm being vicious tonight because of this five days all right yeah. <laughs>